Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. Today, a vintage pencil review. Uh, and um, I want to acknowledge up front my good pencil pal, Joe, who sent me a box of all kinds of goodies, just all kinds of wonderful pencils, a uh, couple of pens, and um, uh, but most of it vintage stuff, older stuff, uh, which I didn't have. So I will be reviewing those uh, in the weeks and months ahead. So thank you so much, Joe. Um, I just appreciate it so much. And among the things that were in uh, this care package from Joe was this a uh, box of um, one dozen number two soft Dixon executives. So not a Ticonderoga, even though it has the the soldier on the front. Um, you'll notice that here. This is when Dixon started identifying or branding itself as the Dixon Ticonderoga Company, but it's not a Ticonderoga pencil per se. It is a 1402 executive pencil. Um, uh, pencil Makers Association approved first quality pencils made in the USA. I'm going to guess because of the PMA stamp and the Dixon Ticonderoga branding, and somebody who knows more about this can help me, but I want to say this is probably 1990s uh, vintage sometime, probably uh, before they shipped production off to Mexico. Um, but anyways, here is the box. On the side of the box is a sort of a graphic of the pencils within, and I'm going to pull one out uh, because the box is opened at the top where it just says, oh, sorry, let me focus here. Number two, um, one dozen number two, and then 1402 executive. So let's let's take a look at the actual pencil, which I think is quite, handsome, the ferrule particularly. Um, trying to gauge the eraser here. It's not soft, it's not hard as a rock, but it's certainly not very pliable. Um, but uh, Dixon Executive 1402-2 uh, and then I don't know if the camera can pick it up. There is a really really soft um, embossing here and I think it says USA right here. I don't know if the camera can even pick that up and I can barely see it just with the naked eye. Uh, beyond that there is also a couple of looks like production numbers here. Very subtle. Maybe to something eight. Again, very hard to make out, but there's the pencil. Let's do from the top down. Um, looks to be a cedar pencil, um, the core, but look at that ferrule. Now that's pretty. That's nice. A ferrule that is looks to be glued on rather than crimped on with the eraser glued in. Nice. So, a Dixon Executive 1402-2. Now, it's a number two, so um, it, as this dash two indicates, it's a number two. Um, how does it write? Let's find out. All right, let's sharpen this Dixon Executive pencil up here. And see what it's all about. Yep, nice, nice red cedar there. And 
you know, back when they were making pencils, a lot of pencils here in the United States. Um, and just a great, a great time. Yeah, there's the point, sharpened beautifully, I think. Um, so let me, let's focus in here. And this is a whoop. Well, I think we can see this is a uh, fairly smooth writing pencil. With a nice dark number two. Um, tone yeah very nice Thank you, Joe. This is a beautiful pencil. Um, I don't know where these came down in terms of the Dixon line. Uh, say, for example, the Executive versus the Ticonderoga. Uh, I don't know if this was uh, considered a uh, an upgraded pencil or uh, a step down from a Ticonderoga, uh, if Ticonderoga represented the top of their line. But okay. Uh, fairly minimal smudge drag on this pencil. I'm gonna just start to see. I'm a little leery about this attached eraser because it's not, yeah, it's really not pliable uh, as it should be. So I'm gonna stop right there because I don't think it's gonna do a good job and I don't want to have it break off. But let's try some other erasers here and see how this erases. Here's a Pentel. Here's a Pink Pearl. Um, curious. Here's a seed um, I reviewed this a few weeks ago, Radar Point. Wasn't, mm, it's doing okay. Better on this than it did on some of the other pencils. Um, there's a foam eraser. Nice job there. Taylor Mars. I mean, it's really racing cleanly. Art gum. Okay. 
Okay, well, again, we're going to excuse the attached eraser. Perhaps it was a great eraser uh, 20 or 30 years ago, whenever this was made, but um, it's a different story now. But using the standard block erasers, I think it, it does a, re the, the erasability of this pencil is, is quite good. Yeah, this is a nice pencil. So if you're out and about and you see any of these old executives lying around, pick them up. This is a really nice writing pencil. Um, and I certainly enjoyed trying it. And again, Joe, thank you for sending it to me. And I hope you enjoyed the review of this vintage Dixon Executive Pencil. Uh, if you like what goes on around here on Always Analog, go ahead and please subscribe to the channel. Share it, like it, all that stuff. Um, and I will say thank you for spending some time, and I will look forward to seeing you again soon here on Always Analog.